Hey guys, it's uh, Terror Pup, and I'm going to do another review. Hopefully this is going to be much better than the last one. Uh, yes, it's another uh, Libra computer. This time the Renegade. Uh, they're very nice. They come in two models. Right in my hand, I have the 4 gig model. There is a 2 gig model out there. The processor on this is a Rock chip, so the model number for this is Rock RK three three two eight CC. And from the picture, you can see that this is very much in a Pi uh, three form factor. So with that, I have a nice acrylic case that I'm going to put it in that I got off for Amazon for like nine bucks. I'm using a little bit of a higher end micro SD card because uh, this is going to be essentially a web server. Uh, I do a lot of, like I told you guys in the past, uh, Ansible stuff, and I'm in the process of rebuilding my lab. And this will be running uh, Nginx on the uh, Armbian. Uh, bullseye server edition and over here if you're in the United States you can pick up a nice decent uh, power supply from Micro Center USB macro or sorry micro and this is a 5 volt 2 point uh, amp power supply it can be used with Pi 3s, Pi 0s, and, and so on. Uh, I picked this one up because I kind of like the little uh, power button. All right, so I'm going to save you some guys some time and essentially ass assemble the case and show you what everything looks like. Okay, so we have assembled the Renegade 4 gig unit onto the acrylic case. Uh, it, this particular case comes with a fan. Love Pi, which normally uh, sells most of the Libra computers, has a nice uh, heat sink, but as of filming this video, they do not have one. I'm not sure if the Le Potato heat sink would fit on this, but you can see there are holes on the motherboard. There is one right there. And there's another one there and you would put the nice little heat sink and uh, it would sit on top. But this fan will give us some cooling. I could have used um, heat sinks on there to uh, cover the uh, CPU and memory. But I'd rather have an official Libra computer board. As I stated, it is marked as a 4 gig. I do have a 2 gig. Later on, I can show you guys a, uh, another video. These little cases, I'm not trying to take away from the review on the Renegade board, but these are great cases if you're doing stuff that is not um, a Pi, but let's say it has a Raspberry Pi 3 form factor. These are awesome little cases. This case will also work with the Raspberry uh, 4. It's open, so you can get some decent air. On my GP IO, I have the red wire on pin 1, the black wire on pin 3, so power 5 volt, and uh, the uh, negative on, um, or neutral, on the, uh, what is that, pin 6, but anyway, it's standard uh, setup. This thing uh, comes with three USB ports. One is USB 2, two are USB 2. And then what's really nice compared to the little potato is the fact that you have a one gig Ethernet adapter. Over here on this side, our micro USB, HDMI 2.0, our audio jack. It's try to zoom in here a little bit, but you can use EMCC with this, and there is an adapter 
uh, space on the bottom. Uh, Love Pie in Amazon, you can pick up uh, from, I believe it's 8 gigs up to 128 gigs. Again, more memory on the bottom. Our GPIO pins over here. Um, I'll look at this later, but there are more pins over here. As you can tell, unlike the uh, Raspberry Pi, there are no camera or display uh, ribbon connectors on that, but that's fine for what we're going to do. It's a, Again, these are nice little boards. Uh, I have a Renegade 2 gig that's in a case with a solid state uh, SSD and it uh, it was going to be my initial web server but I'm gonna <coughs> get this one up and running and uh, we will uh, replace it and I'll do that a video down the road uh, the micro SD will go right there into that slot and uh, it does use U-Boot so that's pretty good and, uh, all right, let's go install an OS. Okay, let's head on over to Libra.computer. Very nice, uh, clean page. As I stated in their last uh, video, they are very active and have really stepped up their game and have filled in where a lot of us who are having difficulties finding a Raspberry Pi and did not want to pay four times or five times the MRP it has really helped out so we're gonna click up here on products Come on. and as you can see they have um, currently five boards out uh, the one we're going to be working with today again is the red engage click over here and this is some quick real uh, <coughs> look at the uh, pictures again there's the EMC slot of the bottom of the board very nice uh, board and I love the f uh, fact that it is a Raspberry 3 format that is awesome because not only can you go find cases out there and there are tons of cases for the Raspberry 3 uh, B+. Plus. Uh, it makes it uh, very easy. A uh, couple things real quick. So this is a quad-core processor. It can stream um, most YouTube content, which is H.264. It can do H.265, VP9. Uh, it can do up to 4K um, output. And again, there are two models uh, of this one, and I do have both. I have a 2 gig, gig that I'll show pictures of later. Uh, it was in a nice acrylic case with a uh, Raspberry uh, Pi hat that allows you to power it on and use a uh, SATA hard drive, and that was really nice to uh, to work with. So. If you want to read more on the specs, you can clean up, click over here on the specs tabs, and you can click over here to get to the software. These are the all the different offerings from their website. Uh, I would recommend going with Ar Arbian, and the reason being is they are one of the folks that have been keeping the their OSs up to date. So. When you click on over here, again, the Armium webpage will show you uh, the five uh, boards that they have out. There's that heat sink that I was talking about earlier that the little potato uses. But months ago, when I was looking at the Renegade and finally bought one, that there was on Love Pie, and I'll put their link in the uh, in below. Uh, all, in fact, I'll put links to all this stuff below so you can look at it. It was a really nice one, but for right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use the case fan and hope that's enough to keep it cool. So click over here on Renegade. 
currently they have the uh, Ubuntu 2022.11 Jammy version out. They do give some uh, recommendations. So if you want to uh, get the maximum safe UPC sp uh, speed, you can run this. But if you climb or scroll down to here, we want to go ahead and we want to click on the Bullseye Edition. And again, because I'm in the US, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's real nice that the Ubuntu and the Bullseye are more or less on the same kernel, as you can see, uh, 5.15. And this was just released at the very end of November. So talk about uh, having a nice uh, group of people that are keeping a board alive and um, making sure that it has updated OS is, is refreshing. So we're going to click here. And we're going to go ahead and, and download it. And this is going to... I'm very surprised. Normally, sometimes I hit a slow server, but tonight we had to hit a f uh, fast one. Okay. And it's done. All right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to load up my card into my burner and then we'll come back. Okay. Okay. On top, kind of hanging there, and I really don't like how it's doing it, but I don't have much control because of the HDMI cable uh, is the 4 gig. Below at the very bottom is the 2 gig that is flashing. This is the acrylic case that I was telling you about and easy access to the SD card. We'll do a review on this later but this is the, uh, the Renegade board and as you can see it's got a nice little fan bringing some air in. It has an on-off uh, power button. Um, I need to find a decent Python script that I can uh, use so that I can press the button and power it off. So we're going to zoom in real quick. I'll lift this up. So, whoop. come on, autofocus. Anyway, the SD card is there. I'm going to hook up the power, and then I'm going to show uh, part of the stuff that uh, has changed a lot. In the past when you would boot up uh, any of these small board computers you need to know the username and password but Arbion and these last uh, few versions that they've released I like the fact uh, even I guess they stole it from Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi stole it from them but you set up a user that will have wheel access or sudo access and can do the uh, commands that we need. Okie doke. Plugging up the power now and we should see output here in a minute. I have a red and green light on the board which does mean that it's active. Once the uh, system boots up the red and green light will go from solid and the red will be pretty much um, blinking. The green light occasionally will blink. Right now my fan is running very nice uh, so the board is staying uh, <clears throat> cool. And as you can see up here above there's our four processors and right now the board we're gonna hit uh, escape real quick is running the resize job. So this will take a, a little bit because again, I'm setting this uh, computer up for uh, being an Nginx server. Uh, I'm not gonna go through and show you how to install the, uh, the Nginx stuff, but if that is something you're curious 
in I can show you later. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you how easy it is once this is done um, to set up your root account and your user account. Again, price-wise for this board, 55 bucks on Amazon currently, a great, awesome board. We are getting some failed reports, as you can see, uh, because the OS could not find a USB device. Uh, currently, I don't have any preferences, but if you know of a good device, uh, I tend to get uh, TP-Link and TrendNet, and then I'll load them up. Normally, I have to look at DMessage because uh, a lot of the firmware is usually not there, and I have to install it. <clears throat> Currently, we do have uh, the 1 gig plugged up, and it is working very fast. Okay, so go ahead and set your root password. That's the first thing it's going to ask when it comes up. Type it in again to confirm it. And up above, so if it helps you out, it is showing you the current IP that the host is on. So that way, if you need to SSH or get into it, you can. I'm going to go ahead and select Bash. All right, <clears throat> next will be my username and then you're going to create a password for it make sure you use a class 4 password and by class 4 uppercase lowercase numeric and special characters if you use all four of those and try to make it better or sorry bigger than eight characters uh, because the longer the um, the password is or number of characters the harder it is the crack one thing I saw the other day that was really nice and just a quick uh, recommendation is instead of using password use passphrases uh, I've been using um, movie titles that I like and believe it or not some of those are coming out to be 20 to 30 characters so all right now it's your real name and I'm going to go ahead and set my location. And I don't know what the why, YI is. Um, I can look that up later. If someone knows what that is, please comment below. But primarily here in the US, EN is English, SE is Spanish. So I'm going to go ahead and select one. And now it's pretty much done. Easy to set up, great price. 4 gigs of memory, and I'll show it here once this is done. Uh, if you're looking for a great Pi alternative, the Renegade uh, is that uh, board I would recommend. Again, 55 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link up there. And um, you can use any um, Raspberry Pi 3B uh, accessories with it, as you can see from the earlier video. I do have the 2 gig in a acrylic case using uh, Geekworm's uh, SATA uh, Pi hat with it so that I can uh, access a uh, SATA drive. All right, there you go. Please like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, they will be getting better. This is the um, second review for me to do. A lot of my videos don't have uh, text. Yes, there are a quite a number of Minecraft ones. Uh, soon as my website, Ugly Press, sorry, UglyScale.Press is up and running, uh, I will be setting up a channel, hopefully, for it. Uh, and then I'll be moving over uh, over to there. But once again, my name's um, Terrapup, a.k.a. Chuck Payne. And I hope you like this kind of how to set up Armian on a Renegade and review video. Until next time, peace.